Hello, art students and teachers. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a metallic inked insect. Let's take a look at some of the materials we'll need first. I'll be using a half sheet of copy paper to first draw my insect, and then I'll be showing you how to transfer that drawing onto a sheet of nine by six inch black construction paper. For the metallic ink, I recommend you use either a silver or gold uniball pen. I'm using silver for my examples here, and I'm also using Sakura metallic jelly roll pens. These come in a variety of colors. Now, when you begin your drawing, decide which orientation you want to use for your insect. Do you want it to be landscape style or portrait style? I'm going to create a landscape style example here. So I'm first folding my copy paper in half so that I can find the center of the copy paper. I will then use this center fold line to create symmetry as I draw my insect. Now, for my example here, I'm going to be drawing a cicada. Off to the side, I have some photos of cicadas. I think it's really helpful to look at some photographs while you're drawing your insect. Working from the center out, I will begin to draw. Keeping my drawing very simple at first, maintaining symmetry, meaning the same on both sides, and trying to use the majority of my piece of paper. My intention is to transfer this drawing onto my black construction paper, which will be my final copy. And because of this, I can feel free to erase and fix my mistakes as I work. Because nothing that I draw on here has to be permanent. Lastly, I'll add some symmetrical details in. These are not necessarily patterns, but they are shapes that I see in the insect that helps to describe the insect I've drawn. Now I'm ready to transfer my drawing onto my black construction paper. First, I'm going to cover the back of my drawing with pencil. Once that is done, I'm going to put my drawing pencil side down on my black paper, and I'm going to tape it down in at least two locations. Once the drawing is taped down, you can transfer the pencil from the back side of the paper onto the black paper by tracing your drawing firmly with pen. It's really important to press firmly as you're tracing over all of your lines and to work on a semi-soft surface like another sheet of paper or a stack of newspapers or magazines. As you can see, wherever I pressed with the pen, I was able to transfer some of the pencil from the back of the paper. Now that I have a nice clean drawing, I can start with my metallic pens. And I'm gonna begin with my silver uniball pen and just trace over all of the lines that showed up from the transfer. Once my entire insect has been traced, I will then begin to embellish the shapes inside the insect using line and dot patterns with colored metallics. I'll start with just some simple patterns of hatching, cross hatching, and even some stippling. Place these lines and dots closer or further apart depending on how much color you wish to apply. You can also use more creative patterns like those you see in Zentangles. And feel free to vary your line weight, making some lines thicker, some lines thinner, and even adding more than one color into a location. Just remember to maintain symmetry whenever possible, even when you're patterning. This means you should be intending to use the same patterns and the same colors on both sides of the central axis of the insect. Build up your embellishments and patterns and explore as many colors as you choose to, to create your metallic inked insect. I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun creating a project for yourself. Bye.